Next, we're going to set the tire parameters, and it's very easy to do. What you want to do is you want to hold the mode button, M-O-D-E button, down until it beeps, and then release it. After it beeps, you'll be in that uh, parameter setting mode. The first thing you'll see is PSI, and you're going to keep pushing and releasing the mode button quickly as we go through each stage of this. So you push mode again, you'll see an F for Fahrenheit. If you do not see an F on the screen and you see a C on the screen, you will push and release the plus button. That will change from Fahrenheit or from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa, depending on what you want. If you're from Canada, you'll probably want the Celsius or the centigrade. So then you'll move on, push the mode button again. The next thing you're going to see is you're going to see your front axle blinking. We set all our high and low pressures per axle because normally the tires on an axle are the same. So in that regard, you always set your high pressure alarm 20% above your normal tire pressure and 10% below your normal tire pressure for the low alarm. So in that regard, um, if we have say 100 pounds in the tire, then you would set your high pressure alarm at 120 pounds using the plus or minus buttons. So in this regard, we got 120 now. You hit the mode button, you'll go to the low pressure for that axle. You'll set that, in this example, to 90. And now we're at 90. So your pressures, of course, will vary because depending on what your normal pressure is your tire, again, always set it 20% above for the high pressure, 10% below for the low pressure alarm. And if you are going into uh, climates that are warm, warm climates, I sometimes would suggest to set that high pressure to 25% uh, above instead of 20%. That'll give you a little more leeway when you're traveling down the road and your tires get a little bit hotter because you're in those higher temperature ranges. Okay, so after you do that, and you do that with each axle, you just keep hitting the mode button, it'll jump to the next axle, you do the high pressure first, low pressure next, and you keep going until you get to the back. You'll notice that all of the tires are blinking on the trailer section of our monitor. On the trailer section, you could set all the tires at one time because typically on a trailer, all the tires are the same. So you'll set the high pressure at 20% above your normal uh, pressure on those tires, and you'll set the low at 10% below the normal tire pressure on those tires. And once you're done with that, doing the high pressure, doing the low pressure, the last thing you're going to see is a temperature icon at the bottom, and you'll see 158, which is our default temperature. Typically, you want to leave this at 158. You really don't have to uh, move that. It will go up to 208 if you'd like, but at 208, you probably won't have a tire there because a tire will usually fail between 170 and 200 uh, degrees. So at 158, it's a good early warning system. So leave it at 158 unless you have a special circumstance, and that is the last setup. So in order to save everything, you hit the set button and release it. Just press and release the set button. It is like a save button. It'll save all your parameters and you should be good to go with your monitor. And that is the complete setup of the 507 system.